We're less than one month away from Election Day and starting today, residents in Ohio and Indiana will be able to start voting. That's right, and early in-person voting it begins in both states today. Jordan Valines joins us live from the Butler County Board of Elections with more of what you need to know. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. Yeah, those polls are going to be opening up here in less than an hour at 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, and that's just for Ohio and in Indiana. We'll get to it here in just a second. But Kentucky, if you live there, you're going to have to wait a couple of weeks longer for that early voting to begin. One of the things that you're going to want to remember this year, and it might seem obvious or maybe not since it is a change, but you have to bring your government issued ID with you and show it right before you vote. And again, that counts for early voting, too. One of the things that I uh, found to be very useful in my research of the story this morning just to kind of make sure that all of the I's were dotted and T's were crossed was the Secretary of State's website uh, for Ohio. There are a lot of it's really easy to use and there's a lot of helpful resources on there. You can go through everything. You can find a sample ballot, what that's going to look like. You can also review other issues like State Issue 1 uh, and also if you need to figure out exactly where your polling place is, all that you need to do there, just type in your address and it'll pop that up for you. Uh, so again, I would recommend doing that before you come out to uh, to really early vote, if you will, just because of the fact of it kind of helps you get ahead of the curb there. But as we mentioned, here in Ohio, those polls are opening up at 8 o'clock. They're going to close today at Five. Now, in Indiana, though, it's kind of different because those times in terms of when the polls open, those will vary depending on which county you live in. But voters, however, in both states, Ohio and Indiana, can also start mailing in their absentee ballots today. So keep that in mind. If you have not requested your absentee ballot, that's OK. You still have till the end of the month in order to do that. Just make sure that they're mailed out the day before Election Day. So make sure they're mailed out by November 4th. As for Kentuckians, Excused absentee voters in Kentucky will be able to vote early in person. But like I said, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer from October 23rd through the 25th and then again from the 28th to the 30th. But if you're a non-excused absentee voter in Kentucky, early voting is not going to start until Halloween, and that'll run through November 2nd. If you're voting by mail, though, you still have uh, up until October 22nd for your vote to count. Another thing to mention, too, is that yesterday was actually the very last day that you could register to vote. So. If you did happen to miss that deadline, you're not going to be able to vote in the election this year. However, that election quickly approaching November 5th. And again, polls opening up for early voting here in Indiana and here in Ohio at 8 o'clock this morning. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.